Oh, come back, you. There's always one piece of onion that desires to go to escape. Escaping with the onions, but not on a Tuesday. Huh? No, no. Oh, oh, I should do that thing. Oh, I didn't see you there. Well, I did see you there. It was me that pressed the live button and me that's responsible for being me live in the first place. So, yes, I did see you there. Hello, hello, hello. I am making food. Yes, food. What am I making tonight? Somebody's going to ask, what are we making tonight? Well, I'll tell you that straight away. I'm making something with a made up name called Sausage Casa Blanca. Now that was an accident because actually I was going to do a sausage casserole, but now I'm not. But I'm doing kind of the sausage casserole bit, but without the casserole. So I'm doing the sausages and gravy in a pan with some mash. So it's not really a casserole. It is sausage and gravy, sausage and onion gravy and mash. But because I'd started off thinking sausage casserole and the old spell check thing straight away thought sausage, C-A-S, he must mean Casablanca. Yes, exactly. Obvious, isn't it? Obvious. What else would it be? Sausage Casa, ca, Casablanca. And so I thought, well, I'll have that. I'm going to have that. That's my new name for this particular recipe. Not that it's a proper recipe. You know, you think a recipe is something where you have lots of ingredients all carefully put together, carefully written down, and honed over the years to make sure it is as good as possible. No, not me. No, I do exactly the opposite of that. All I do is simply slap dash a whole load of bits together and hope I like it. So currently what we have here are sausages cooking in a pan. That's a start. Kind of slowly. No, you don't want to rush them. I don't want to rush this, you see, because people say to me, gosh, don't you eat late? Well, yes, I do. I do a little bit, I suppose, but that's because I'm not hungry yet. But I will be later on, and I don't want to miss out on having some food later on. So I'm going to cook them quite slowly, because it may as well last the duration of this live stream, which will go on for probably an hour and 20 minutes. But in the meantime, why don't we do the, the thing of just seeing who is here tonight so far, and then hopefully some more will come along and join us in this kind of party in the kitchen. Yes, my party in the kitchen. Let's see who's here. Me, that's who's here for a start. Evening all, evening mustard, hope all is well. Evening all, evening mustard, hope all is well. Look, there's a bit of ginger there that looks like the end of a finger. It is, thank you. Hello everyone, I am your friendly resident moderator, here to keep things in order. Currently running on leftover egg curry, Sauvignon, Sauvignon, Sauvignon Blanc, Sauvignon Sauvignon wine. And the relentless teasing from her little sister. Well, let's hope we get some more of that tonight. Usual rules apply. No spam or repeats. No international politics, no requesting of phone numbers, etc. No being a dick to the other members. And you couldn't really put it better than that, could you? And you don't need to, because it's already there. Thank you very much, The Greenwood. Ed Usher is here. Hello, Mustard. I'm really looking forward to seeing you handle those fine Lincolnshire pork cylinders. And cylinders they are. Although, are they? Because, you know, a cylinder is a cylindrical shape thing. Um, aren't they supposed to be empty? Or are they? I don't know. Maybe I need to do a quick look up in the dictionary to find out what a sausage actually is. Because I've got a feeling that they're never really referred to as cylinders at all. <laughs> but uh, that's a point. Cylinder? The word cylinder? Yes. Imagine if you could make a porky engine. I mean, you can cook sausages on an engine because of the heat. But could you make an engine out of sausages? I reckon the answer to that is going to be no. But would it stop you from trying? Yes, it should. 
Um, and now we have Andrew Buttigieg, a very good evening, Mustard and the Greenwood, etc. I bet you do enjoy Told in the Hole. I do enjoy Told in the Hole. And in actual fact, I was kind of thinking of possibly making that tonight. But I got distracted and thought, I prefer some mash. Oh, I just choked on my tear. This is like I, oh, I bet you do told in the hole and, oh, I bet, do you do enjoy told in the hole? Oh, no, I've just read that one. Uh, suddenly got hot in here. Oh, hot in here. Oh. And to you, and a phantom is here. I love a teacher that looks like you. He likes mushrooms. Why does he like mushrooms? What does he do with them? Does he cultivate them? Does he collect them? Does he take pictures of them? Is he actually putting together a book about mushrooms and all the mus mushrooms that you can possibly find everywhere that you go? Perhaps he's restricting this particular hobby of his to the supermarket. So every Sunday he goes into the supermarket with his camera, which is also a mobile phone, and takes pictures of the mushrooms. He's very disappointed at the lacking of variety of mushrooms in the supermarket because, let's face it, there's only going to be a couple. But what he really wants to do is write a totally exciting book about mushrooms that you find in the supermarket. But he's discovered that that is indeed impossible. Poor chap. Putty Cat. Ah, hello, Putty Cat. I haven't seen you for a couple of days. How about tuna casserole? Yum, yum, yummy. How about it? I'm not making it, but how about it? How about it indeed? Maybe another time. Come on, sausages. You know what you do? You know when your sausages, you have these strings of sausages and they're, they're all held together by these sausage bags. Well, then what you do is you get your knife and you cut them so they separate and they're all individual sausages. Guess what? I don't bother with that. Do you know why? Because it's what's the point? You put them in the pan and uh, after a while they become cooked anyway. And then with a wooden spoon as I've just done there, you can easily slice through the sausages. That's when you know they're cooked. Are they mild or hot sausages? Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, I missed Phantom there. I'm starting to be a regular now. I get notifications when you start streaming. Thank you, Phantom. Anybody can get notifications by simply pressing that um, notification bell. That's the easiest way of doing it. Uh, oh, custody, oh, custody, custody, uh, Keanu Reeves. Uh, just, just scrolling through, stay awesome, mate. Do good and be and good all. Oh, very good. Thank you very much. How was your day at PNHQ today? Asks Andrew Buttigieg. Well, it was fine. It was fine, but it was wet. It was wet and it was windy and it was. Um, we could say it was a bit productive in some ways. We'll say it's quite productive, actually. But I haven't got any video to prove it. Mustard note, live chat. And you've said that because I have not told you that I'm going to put it on live chat. So thank you very much. It is now on live chat. Let's have some people coming in for a live chat indeed. Please don't put curry powder in this meal, says Tyler Kennedy. Why? What's wrong with that? Curry powder goes everywhere, doesn't it? I mean, it does if you drop the bag. You drop the bag of anything, it goes everywhere and anywhere. But does you want? Do you want it to? Do you? Do you want it? Oh gosh! Uh, no, I'm not going to. I will. Um, it will be having quite a few ingredients that might be ever so slightly associated with making a curry, but it's not going to be a curry, so don't worry. He eats. He eats mushrooms and picks them. Which does he do first? I reckon you should pick them first. Um, and uh, Karim. Uh, oh, that one again, Dad. <laughs> Excellent. Yes. Uh, uh, no, not me. Sorry. Sausage is a funny word. Would you agree? I would agree. Sausage is a funny word, and that's why we all like it. Isn't it? I mean, admit it. Does anybody else find themselves just repeating the word sausage over and over again just to amuse their little mind? I'm sure they do. I love sausages, especially the thick black pudding and runny egg. Mm, yes. 
What is PNHQ? asks Puddy Cat. Oh gosh, well, that is a good question. PNHQ stands for Project Nigel Headquarters. And that is where I do most of my work. Certainly somewhere I go nearly every day, nearly every day, to dabble and do creative things with cars. Uh, oh, I had told to the whole the other weekend, actually. And Karim says, you look like my dad. Well, I'm sure your dad's a very handsome fellow, then, isn't he? Has he got the same kind of glasses? Has he got the same kind of grey hair? Has he got the same kind of beard? Has he got the same debonair style to him that makes you warm to him? Mm, I hope so. They're called sausages. Uh, oh, they're called sausage umbilical cords. I don't think they are. That's what you call them. That's what we should all call them. Sausage umbilical cords. Although, it's a bit unnecessary. I like sausage bag. You know, bag. A bag of sausage. Sausage in a little see-through bag. Yes. A kind of bag that has a sausage in it. Imagine how unwieldy a sausage would be if it wasn't in a bag. It'd basically spill everywhere and the sausage would be uncontrollable and basically like a, like a child with ADHD. And that really shouldn't be happening with something that you get out of the fridge to eat and make a casserole with, should it? No, it shouldn't. So this is why they've been put into special sausage bags to stop them from actually escaping and becoming a pain to the neighbours. Um, now, what is told in the oh? What is told in the hole? Oh, that's quite a good one actually. Uh, uh, PHQ is where mustard lives. <laughs> uh, Chief Queef, what do you call a Mexican with a rubber toe? <laughs> Roberto. <laughs> uh, right, uh, Flabber Jabber says Rovers are crap. And that will be from somebody who knows an awful lot about cars. Hopefully, more about cars than spelling. And Andrew Puttigieg says, and Mustard has lots of interesting visitors to the yard. I do. Although, I do have lots of visitors. but not necessarily interesting. And it doesn't guarantee an interesting time. But it does mean a time. A time that you will never forget. Yeah, it's like that p and is a bit like Disneyland, except that it's smaller, it's, it's, it's full of oil and dirt everywhere, and nobody looks happy. And of course, it's not somewhere that you'd pay to go to. In fact, it's somewhere that people drive right past and don't think anything of it. Andrew Buttigieg's never been there, but I bet you've been to Disneyland, haven't you? So here we go, what's best? p &HQ or Disneyland? I think I know. p &HQ. It must be, because I go there every single day. I wouldn't go there every day if it wasn't fantastic, would I? My mate had told in the hole in prison. <laughs> now we, know, we know that that's, that's um, probably true as well. Uh, Etia Guetta. You look like Travis Scott. That's another name I need to go and look at just to see whether you're correct or not. People say this an awful lot. Not Travis Scott, but somebody or other. I've um, had some cool ones, like the Silver Jesus. And somebody, oh, well, the Surfing Jesus. I like that. But surely, all surfer blokes look a bit kind of beardy and hairy anyway, don't they? So, it's not really much of an achievement, is it? Uh, did he bend for the soap? That's called a leapfrog, Tyler. Remember back in the 70s when butcher's sausages were made freshly and you could suck the meat raw from the skins? Oh, that's, maybe that's the thing. I remember when I was uh, at school, I remember being about um, seven or eight and was doing some sort of cooking class and the sausages looked to me really appetising raw, this incredibly pink meat. And I did, I ate, I had a few spoons full of the stuff and I ate it raw and I don't remember ever being ill of it. Unlike uh, I was with the Gloy Glue, about the same age. Gloy Glue, you know, it looks like yoghurt or milk and I thought that must be nice. And I had myself a right good spoonful of it. It was disgusting. 
don't try it. You won't find yourself thinking that was a good idea. You'll say, I'm never going to do that again, as I never did. Oh, right. How's it going, Mr. Detal? It's going okay, I reckon. Mixed onions. Oh, is that hairy northern milkman mustard? It is. That's, that's exactly who is here. That's exactly who is here to make sure that your evening goes off with some at least... Whatever that is. Yeah, whatever that was, that's what you're going to get from this live stream. It's disappointing. It's not very good. But at least you know that the next thing that you watch or the next thing you do will be better. And that will give you something to look forward to. Hello, hello, hello. I don't think I've ever done that before, re-sucking sausages. Maybe it's just me and Tracy that's done that. Yeah, he got a new cellmate called Big Barry, and he made him play Toad in the Hole. <laughs> uh, oh, gosh, right, yeah. Uh, will we ever get the chance to meet the wife, asked Stick. Well, uh, maybe, maybe. Would you really want to do? I mean, you're, you're basically going to get told off if you do, so... You probably won't find it a particularly pleasant experience. And, you know, I don't really want to make things uncomfortable for you. Oh. Chances are you're probably not going to do because you'll be... She'll be back off to Russia at the end of the week and we won't see you for a while anyway. Oh! Back in day... Oh, green, oh, <laughs> uh, itia or itia, uh, gueta, what is your body count? Now, that sounds like the kind of thing that you would ask a, a policeman that has a gun and goes around trying not to shoot people, but he has to do in order to save innocent people. All of the innocent bystanders there are basically more important than the crims with the gun. They know they're going to get into trouble for it, but they have to give them a bullet or two just to stop a bullet or six hurting somebody that doesn't deserve it. Let's face it, if you're carrying a gun around, you're going to end up with one bullet some from somewhere else, can't you? But as it goes, believe it or not, I am not an American policeman, so I don't really think that particular question uh, relates to me that well. P and H Q, yes, Miss Greenwood, yes, oh yes. Ooh, yeah. Ed Usher says, I was telling Boaty the best way to cook sausages in his in his kettle. You can also cook spuds too. They learned this in HM <laughs> HMP Lewis back in the seventies. Don't you normally try and keep your kettle clean though? It's bad enough when you have uh, you know, and the scaly buildup of calcium. Never mind sausages. Mm. Fancy a cup of tea? Yeah, yeah, I do. It might taste a bit like sausages. Oh, that's fine. I'm used to it. Well, so you cook sausages in your oh, microwave as well. Microwave? Come on, come on, speak the words out, you daft, airy goon. <sighs> I've said it so you don't have to. So you cook sausages in your kettle as well then? Oh yeah, of course it is. The quickest, it's the best way. Uh, you not have a pan? Yeah? Yeah, I use it to cook tea in. There was a time, of course, where mm. everybody, mm. the ones that cook of tea, they would have their pan of water on the gas stove. You'd have to get the water hot that way. Get it boiling hot if you want tea, of course. Coffee doesn't matter too much. How, how inconvenient was that? And basically all you're doing is extending that level of convenience from being able to make a cup of, a cup of tea within a couple of minutes into doing it with sausages as well. But I don't know about you, but I prefer my sausages fried rather than boiled. So are you putting oil in the kettle? Well, maybe you have more than one kettle. That would work, wouldn't it? If you have like two kettles, you have one for water and one for oil. Would it get the, the oil hot enough though? That's the other question. I, I don't know. It just gives me questions. I want to know more about this. Do people really have they really ever done that? Because I don't think I want to. Yes. OMG. Glory glue. 
You know, sometimes you have a, a something that happens in your life and you're never, ever going to forget it. That's one of those moments, it really is. But you know why? Because it was horrible. And also because it's easy to remember when you keep telling people about it. Pink meat. I was still talking about sausages here. Uh, well, I was. I don't know about we. Uh, Lewis, not Lewis. Uh, well, I just read it wrong, didn't I? <laughs> uh, oh, no, I, no, I read it wrong as well. I don't, to be honest, I've never heard of that prison. I used to like, it, like eating Play-Doh, says Tyler. Well, um, isn't Play-Doh just a food-based thing anyway? I'm not sure how they get the colours, though. So uh, I think that Play-Doh is a non-toxic thing anyway. Probably for, because children are, you know, inquisitive enough to... Well, I'm playing with this, right? What? Well, I can do this with it, I can do this with it. What's it like to eat? Yeah, that's your next question, isn't it? I must admit, I did some stuff like that myself, which I've already told you about. But more than that, I was always quite keen on toy cars. But I get bored with them and chew them to bits. I mean, literally, I would just chew, chew them to bits when I was about six. Strange habit. I'm, I've got out of the habit of that now. I don't do it anymore. I wouldn't feel uncomfortable, Mustard. How do you know? How do you know, Skick? You seem like the man that, the kind of man that could get intimidated. I mean, we could all get intimidated, but the, the level of intimidation you may suffer may be one that you'll never forget. And then you'll tell me, why didn't you warn me? Why did you let me do this? Well, I did warn you, but you still wanted to go ahead. And that's the trouble with it, me be insisting on meeting a lady's wife, or a man's wife, in fact, because ladies don't often have wives, although they can do sometimes, and I'm not excluding that. Talking of school glue, says the Greenwood, I love copy decks. Liquid plastics. You cover your hand with it and wait for it to dry and peel it off. Isn't that the same as glue, though? Right, okay, another one there. You remember, you resemble Ozzy Osbourne. Do you remember Crazy Train? I do, I do remember that, yeah. Um, I, you probably noticed that my accent's the same as Ozzy Osbourne as well. Yeah, like Ozzy Osbourne, I actually quite well know him. Yeah. He's a, I, I went to school with him. Uh, I remember in the early 80s when Mark Almond was apparently uh, a keen boatsman. And he had 57 different seamen in his locker. <laughs> right, yes. Um, the sausage water... The, the sausage water is also a nutritious drink. Oh, well, how about that then? Sausage water. You don't really get a great... Well, you would do. You cooked it in... Cooked it in the kettle. Do you prefer crouch or, cre or crunch or peeny, cr creamy peanut butter? Asks Puddy Cat. That's a good question. Um, I prefer Marmite. Uh... Die Veer Veer Watkin. Hey, do you hate? Do you hate? Why do you hate white people? <laughs> well, they're just such a pain, aren't they? You know, I don't know why. I don't know why. Actually, I didn't know I did. But you, you stick with it. You might as well do. In fact, as you uh, know me better than anybody else, you can possibly give an explanation to this. Uh, just water. Just water. That is not nice. I bet the sausages weren't all, but well, they wouldn't be uh, nice and crispy on the outside and browned off, would they? They'd just be, just picturing a boiled sausage. It just, it does not sound appetising at all. Hello, Captain, says Vampire Hedgehog. Thank you for the beer. They've all gone now and you're welcome to come back again. Simon has 19 watching uh, Simon has 19 people watching, so do you wonder if they are the same people? Asks Simon. Uh, uh, sorry, um, Hedgehog. I don't. Now, originally, when I was doing a live stream, I think, well, Simon's got his live stream on at the moment, 
Both he's got one afterwards, and I think I wait until one's finished and one's going to finish when somebody else finished. But the fact is, they are different people. I have a, a bunch of people that come into this one that don't go into Simon's, and I think the people that are in Simon's, because I did a quick look at Simon's live stream, and there are quite a few people there that actually I know, but they don't they don't visit my live streams, so there's not really any point in waiting. That's what I thought. Sorry, predicted text had me at mixed onions. My dog at play doh my dog ate play doh. His poops are colourful. I would have thought that um, that your dog's internal system would have actually done something about the, the colour. Hello, my good man, says uh, Efna Lord. Efna Lord. Oh, hello to you. If you're new here, please like the live stream and subscribe to the channel. Can I have a shout out, please? Says Max's boss. I don't know, can you? Koshi can have a shout out, Max's boss. Welcome to the live stream. Welcome, welcome indeed. And June, putty cat, hi, hello. Oh, look, a deleted. Oh, right, I see. Oh, dear, what a shame. What a shame, June. The ads are going to ruin it like that. Come back and just be, you know, polite and nice and uh, just join in what may be for some people a bit of fun. Sabrina Quinton is back. Oh, the balls. Ah. Uh, uh, I'm not on Simon. I'm not on Simon's here. I am lurking on Twitch. Tyler Kennedy, life hack here for you, must If you get a criminal record, you will save money on taking your family on holiday because other countries won't let you in. <laughs> brilliant, brilliant. Um, Emma Lemon. Eat Colonel Mustard, and also my sister, and everything in moderation. As you changed your name from yesterday, that's good. I mean, well, I think it's good. Might be good. Might not be good. Might be a bad thing. Might be a sign that you're running away from all of the shenanigans of yesterday. In actual fact, everything that you talked about yesterday, you don't want to be associated with it. So you think, I know, if I have a change of name, I won't be recognised, and nobody's going to point the finger and say, you did all that talking about farting in the bath yesterday, and it was terrible, 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 terrible. But they probably remember, won't they? Because I do. Poo time, is it? Yes, poo time. Uh, getting wound up there, mustard. Only asked a reasonable question. Uh, 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 did it, does anybody else thought I got wound up? <laughs> I certainly didn't. I certainly didn't. Anyway, Skick, when? When are you going to bless us all with your live stream? Because you do know that many people will watch that, don't you? So come on, come on, do it, Skick. Ibby plays. Hello again from Dusselhof. Hello, Ibby plays, and uh, oh, keeping keeping it halal with this one says uh, somebody Samson. Sausage surprise tonight says Emma Lemon. Well, it's not going to be that much of a surprise. I'm just cooking them nice and slowly. Occasionally turning them over. Uh, yeah, you vote left. You are the reason Muslims took over your country. <laughs> yeah, okay. All right, okay. Right. Actually, do you know what? Yeah, you, you, I don't, I don't vote left anyway. I might as well tell you that I don't, because, because left. Left has gone a bit too uh, demanding of the years. Left, the left, the lefties used to be reasonable people that wanted to be all encompassing. These days, they just want you to stop. They just want to you to have no personality or have any kind of opinion. Anyway, enough of that. Um, Samson, uh, Don, what are you on, bro? Uh, oh right. Oh, I missed Don, haven't I? They say there's a wear coming. They said there's a war. war. They said there's a war coming. Would you join the army if there was a draft? Well, would they let a man of my age in? And I am incredibly old. I see no sausage. And you can see, uh, you can see the sausages if you really insist. There we go. There we go. It's because I started doing this and then sat down because some people joined this live stream and I felt awfully rude not talking to them. 
I, do you enjoy arm wrestling? I do. I love arm wrestling. I'm really good at arm wrestling. Nobody can beat me. No, not many people anyway. Now, Tyler, be careful. Be careful with that. Evening, mate, says fast book. Oh, wow. Bolty's world finally made it home. Nightmare journey. Oh, hope. Oh, oh, why was it a nightmare journey? I'm looking forward to this. Oh, dear. Uh, right. My uncle used to work in a butcher shop. He got fired for putting his sausage in the sausage maker. To be fair, she got fired too. Well, then they got married and had a couple of kids, so it was okay. <laughs> Banana Boy is here. Hello. What's going on? Well, what's going on is, is just simply this. Just, just me chatting away to anybody that wants to be chatted away to whilst I do some cooking, cooking, cook, 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 cooking. That was quite a long time, actually. I suppose maybe two hours to get home. Prison in the 70s was different back then. Human rights didn't exist. 23 hours a day, locked up with no TV, no wireless. They didn't have wireless things, of course. You had to use your imagination. The canteen food was even worse. Hey, Ivor, just got back from the yard. Even in. Are you not working boat? Oh, he's put a capital letter in that time. It's his day off, isn't it? Never been... Libtard? Mm. Let's do away with this chap because um, he's, he's close on being a nuisance, I reckon. He can go in time out uh, for 10 minutes whilst I tell you that um, nobody's a tard for being liberal. And I'm not even a liberal anyway, so there we go. Um, <clears throat> what a strange assumption. We close on running late, too, not running late. Blimey, there's a lot of sausage. You're feeding the whole street. Finally, a British guy says RD. And I've caught up with the comments. That is amazing, actually. Uh, James Red, James Red O'Connor looking for a two way. Two way conversation. Five-way conversation, 26-way. The more, the merrier. Well done. Uh, I was undecided about that one. Thanks for clarifying. Uh, well, I think he was looking for a reaction, so or he or she, or, you know, I don't really know, really. Um, getting a bit close to possibly offending someone. Not me, because I'm not really bothered, but I don't really... Oh, well, that does sound a bit woke, doesn't it? If I'm if I'm actually taking him out of my live stream because he might offend somebody else, uh, how's your day been? It's been it's been not too bad actually. It's been okay. Why can't I have a go at being moderator? Boat also turned me down. Uh, well, I'll answer that in a bit if you like. How's your day going so far? Asks Anna Genowski. Uh, okay, not so bad. Right. Okay. Listen, I, I best had just. I can carry on having a conversation with all of uh, all of you fantastic people. All of you fantastic, be fantastic just for being here. That's basically it. It is to, it is time to nearly knock the sausages all over the floor. But actually, I saved that one just about. I'm going to just cut them up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cut them up. Cut them up into little sausage bits. Can you see what I'm doing? Do you need to see what I'm doing? Is that relevant? Probably not. Well, once I've done this, we do a bit of oil and a bit of come on, stuff going on there. They are definitely cooked enough. Right, there we go. So now we have, we did have, uh, well, eight sausages. Now we have about 30. So what's best? What I'm going to do now is um, do the onion cutting up malarkey thing, which I always say this, I can't, I can't quite concentrate or just talk freely whilst cutting up an onion and I've never really understood why. Maybe if I carry on doing it I will get better at this particular multitasking task. The task of multitasking can be improved by simply multitasking a little bit more often. Oh, yes. But as soon as I stop concentrating on talking, I stop. So, um, that's the problem with it. Onions, in you go. 
今日は聞けるよ。はい。So the other thing I was going to put in here as well is,、um, as usual, a copious amount of garlic,、uh, an amount of garlic similar to an amount of garlic that is actually too much. Right, one second, I've just got to sort them out. What are you doing? Right, excuse me. Excuse me. Right, please stop, please. Please stop. Come on, just be here, please. Something rather chaotic. Chaotic. Chaotic was going on upstairs. Oh right. So um, is um, has Bolty said why the um. No, he hasn't. Oh, look. Oh, look. Give me a second. Give me a second, and I shall come back to reading comments out of what a lovely comment. But I'm, I'm actually really interested in Boaty's journey home and why it was a nightmare. I'm hoping that there's not something going a bit wrong with the car. Of course. Then again, I wouldn't really wish terrible traffic on anyone, but、I、prefer that to anything、uh, wrong with the car, wouldn't I? So that that will explain that. Come on. Oh, that was not a particularly good piece of garlic. Oh, it's red. Has anyone ever seen red garlic before? That's unusual. And just the bit in the middle was red. You go in the pot, you go. Oh, in the pot, you go in the pot, you go. Time to put the spuds on as well. That's easy because you just basically let the water deal with it.、Uh, and you know that I don't need to tell you because you already know. And in the interest of keeping things tidy, I shall get rid of this lot first. And then yet again, come back to the comments of the people that have come to my live stream to see what's going on. Oh, right, that brakes failed twice. What is it with you and brakes? I don't understand. Snow, terrifying thunderstorm. Couldn't see because the wiper is hopeless and the brakes failed twice. Uh, right. I think I think you've got a problem with brakes, Boaty.、Uh, yeah, it was. Yes. How?、Uh, yep.、Yeah, all day. Okay. Right.、Um, why can't I ever go at being the moderator? Well, Skick, because、um, one problem. I'd have to. We'd have to have like one goal of you being the moderator on one thing as a trial, but I'd have to be checking everything you did because we disagree with each other on almost everything. Remember, we agreed that ninety percent of what we talk about we disagree on. So that would make it rather difficult to set the rules, wouldn't it?、Uh, and and Tracy does a very very good job of it. And unless I get to back to doing. Hundreds of people watching the live stream again, which was a bit of a fluke. I think she can manage. Two way sausage eyes, you day. Can you have five followers? Can you? Yes, I could do, but I'm not going to because I can't be bothered. I get easily offended, says Banana Boy. Well, we don't need to be easily offended. We need to be not easily offended. That's something to strive for. No mod could be a better mod than my sister. I, I think you might be right, actually. Who's this bum here? Says Bobo Bozo the clown. I don't know. I, you've got a very very strange face. I mean, you are a clown, and that means that well, basically, you 
going to look like a bozo, aren't you? I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that. Don't worry about it. You know, on this live stream, people will be friendly to you. So, you know, just, just join in and everything will be fine. Well, Bob's cool. Uh, one, two, three, four says, I punched my friend today. And that, uh, I mean, that is cool, isn't it? Punching people. Definitely. I bet you're impressed. I bet you thought, ha, you're my best mate for doing that. Do it again. This time, go for the nose. See if you can knock it off. The body of the uh, recently deceased wall sausage tycoon was created last week. Five minutes on each side. He was just what he would have wanted. Oh, you, oh, I'm just being a quick... Greetings, Master, says Pingu. Indeed, that's me, isn't it? We need more of your sort here, yes. Tracy, do you think I would make a good moderator, asks Skick. Um, I think, actually, nobody should be a moderator in a live stream unless we see them being, a, you know, doing a live stream themselves so we can see exactly, really, how you conduct yourself amongst people from your own perspective and you never answered that when are you going to do your live stream skick uh blair is here hello mustard how are you i'm super duper fine wicked fantastic super duper etc i hope you are too i have running eyes and a running nose chopping that onion it's funny that actually because when you've done quite a lot of onion chopping it doesn't seem to affect you any longer. This is so British 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 at core. Uh, British decor. Well that's an interesting word. No skip, nobody does it better than the Greenwood. Uh, I've got some sex punks, says Bob. <laughs> Typical, typical behaviour from that man. I've got to hurry up here because I've got to do some more ingredient stuff in a second. Uh, well, the last one's out. Oh, yeah, I bet you did. I bet you did. John, you've probably already been asked this, but well, what is your tattoo? Uh, it's, it's just a design of three, four circles that my friend, the tattoo artist, actually did. He designed it and said, uh, would you like this? And I said, yeah, okay. We are having a WWE match upstairs. Huh. Aragon says, can you cook me some cats? Well, yes, I could, but I'm not going to because I haven't got any. Do you think a strict diet of sausage and beer would help reduce obesity? Yes, I do, actually. And that might sound like a joke, but actually I do. I think that if you just ate sausages and drunk beer, you wouldn't really have an obesity problem at all. Boaty, are you good? He is good, he's, he's good, he's good. Which car? Where? Take the burden off your shoulders. Get shut of them cars. <laughs> uh, the science test was a little difficult today, but I tried. I hope I got a full mark to make my grandfather and grandmother happy. And I hope, I hope he did as well. Can I be a managing moderator? Oh, uh, Sober Dave Fan. Sober Dave Fan, that's an interesting name. Sober Dave Fan. You're a fan of somebody called Sober Dave. The kind of Dave that never either gets drunk or drinks anything to get himself drunk. Uh, yeah, it's fabulous. It will be in a few days. Well, I'm glad to hear that, uh, Banana Boy. Sounds wonderful. Uh, oh, okay. Never said at uh, any time we'll do live stream. I'm sure you did, actually. I'm sure you did. Or did somebody suggest it to you? And you said, yeah, I will do. But anyway, time to do it. Time to do it, Skick. Come on. Uh, oh, <laughs> shit. I don't know what happened there. I deleted Boaty. Boaty's well said. It's no terrifying thunderstorm. And I couldn't see the why because hopeless. The brakes failed twice. <laughs> uh, I see what happened. I was aiming for the message above. Uh, just go in and everyone will be fine and go to prison. I'm deleting three of your messages of mine. Oh, yeah, right. I, I didn't even see any of that. That's good. See, see the green, but 
the green wood saves me the worry of spam and some terrible messages. We have some not so terrible messages left in, but they're really bad ones. I don't even get to see them. It's brilliant. Oh, I take it back, what I said about the green wood being a good mod. Russian monk official, we meet again. Indeed we do. Indeed we do. Crichton Roberts, uh, lol, you're now on 2K. I, I am, I am actually, yeah. Uh, can you do cartwheels or backflips? No, I can't. Skick, did he say do a live stream or show this something? I'm sure he did. Uh, Lucas, uh, oh no, wait, wait a minute. Uh, I am, I am, oh god, I've, no, I haven't caught up. Oh gosh. Don't scratch, ah, oh, right. Right. Oh, Rob Joey's here as well, as well as um, Mo Cooper and. Right, okay, I, I need to just, I need to just not put, put you on hold. Right, I need, I need to just change this again and get back to doing some of my cooking here, don't I? Right, so, so far we have, or I have, what, sausages, onion, and garlic. The next is going to be some ginger. Gosh, I put ginger in absolutely everything I cook, practically. But it just works. And if it works, you carry on using it, don't you? So I'm going to bung the ginger in. And then I'm going to have a selection of other things to go in there, which will go in briefly into the oily bit. And then some flour to thicken it up and then a bit of water to make the gravy. Ginger's chopping again, I'm being very careful, aren't I? Oh, I just realised something. I did actually peel another onion. I peeled two onions, and I've only put one in. And the reason for that is that uh, I'm meant to put the other one in as well. Or at least some of it. That'll do. Me in the floor. The other half of rolling is going to go in the mash. So the mash will have butter, a bit of raw onion, and indeed some parsley. Distracted there and lots of put the rest of the onion in because that's kind of held me back now somewhat. Um, right, so what's going to go in to make the gravy? Well, there's going to be a bit of mustard, some fennel seeds, not very many, a tiny bit of cinnamon, coriander seeds, and oh. A little bit of cumin and and where are we? Where are we going? 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 Just a tap of tomato puree and a good splash of what's the sauce? Who thinks that sounds like it might work? If you think it sounds like it won't work, please say so now. Put some onions on the floor. That one may be very popular, will it? Oh, yes, 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 that was it, that was it.
Love, oh yes, right, so it needs crap under this now. Um, let's do the first dollop of mustard. Yeah, mustard. Let's turn this down again now. Cumin, a bit of um, cinnamon, just a few fennel seeds. I mean, just a few. I really don't want loads of those. But coriander seeds, we're all right with. We've got a good few of those in here, and as we mix them up, oh, I smell that, eh? Oh, yes, yes, indeed. How many people have we got watching now? 24. Gosh, that's not too bad. If it's always 24, that's not too bad. Now we go for lots, well, I say lots and lots, a good helping of Worcestershire sauce. And then just a bit of tomato puree, puree, tomato puree, and we are well on our way to making sausage casher. <laughs> sausage casher blanco. <laughs> what a stupid idea. I love stupid ideas. Right, okay. Little bit of flour, we don't need loads of it. Maybe again there really, the advisable thing would be to just use a spoon. A bit more. Then we need to mix all that lot up. And we end up with a kind of a, a sausage kind of paste really. And as soon as we add the water to this we can Mix it up and it starts to work better. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Making the sausage Casablanca. What? And they're going to call it sausage Casablanca again. And I'm going to say that if anybody thinks some of those ingredients don't sound right, fair enough, some of them don't. But actually it does work, and I've made this exactly the same before, or almost exactly the same. And I've found quite a few things I really do like just by experimenting, but experimenting to the to the degree of not doing anything really stupid. But I do that for snacks instead. But you know, serious food. Somebody's got to eat this. I've got to eat this. This is my supper. I don't want to go too far wrong. <laughs> So oh, there we go, that's um, oh, oh, chair over again, don't do that. I may as well come back and say hello to some people that may still be here. And I'll say hello to everyone that's been in the live stream tonight, including those that have gone. Because you just never know. Uh, we got as far as that, but 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 Yep, hello, hello. I've been subbed since 50 says Crichton Roberts. That's nice because that makes you rather loyal and thank you very much. Um, mustard, my novel on what pad achieved 3,000 views. Well, that's cool, that's good news. I don't know what pad is, but I can. 
I can kind of probably have a guess what it might be. Um, yeah, that's, that's very good. Uh, is there any uh, potential earnings from doing what's pad? Hmm? Oh, now that these potatoes just need switching off. That means that we are very, very close to doing possibly being at the end of this live stream because there's no point in me carrying on once I've finished making it, is there? No, I said I was thinking of doing a live, I say it's a skick. Uh, don't just scratch your butt before biting. Uh, <laughs> and yeah, and Rob well, John, glad you're here. Glad you're here, mate. Uh, Barbara made god awful daub this evening for supper. It tasted like a tin of pedigree chum. 43 years of marriage and European holidays. You'd think she'd learn to cook by now. I do sympathise with you either. Are you putting onions in your casserole? Uh, yes, well, that, that should be the thing to do, um, shouldn't you? Isn't your sausage burning? No, no, it didn't burn. No, it didn't burn. It was just right. Matt Finnish Photography is here. Hello, Mustard. Hello, Matt Finnish Photography. I've got to leave now, says Banana Boy. Okay, thank you very much for joining us. Come on, Mustard. You have to be uh, serving up before 10 o'clock. Russian Monk Official. I know it sounds gross, but I just made caramel... Caramel... Chocolate milk. It's good. I don't see what sound. That sounds okay to me. Sounds okay to me indeed. Oh, gosh. Right. Well done. Right. Uh, another, another, uh, the same joke. It's the same joke every time. You young people, you think you'd find some new jokes. <laughs> uh, what about cousins? Uh, oh, couscous with raisins is so delicious. You should try it. Maybe I will. Maybe I will. I agree. Put some dried apricots in as well. A very friendly lion called Parsley. Tommy Mummery, what's your cooking? I'm cooking, I've cooked some sausages and gravy. And I'm about to do some mash in a minute. Not bloody fennel. Oh, you said you don't like fennel. Well, actually, you've got to be careful with fennel because you can overdo it very, very easily. So in this, there should be just a, just, just a faint hint of fennel in the background rather than it being right up in your face. I'm going to have to stop watching if it's going to be fennel <laughs> uh, Fennel with sausage is great. It makes it Italian style. Ah. Lots of tension in your talk when you speak to me, Mustard. What's up? What do you mean, Skick? Why does there have to be anything else? Oh, Skick, don't be so paranoid. Nothing's up. And you, I like you in my live stream. I do. I just think you should do one of your own because you promised you would. <laughs> Fresh your seeds. Uh, oh, right. And then King Toby is here. What are you cooking there? That. That. If you're still here, you'll know by now anyway. Emma Lemon, have you tried couscous with dried apricots? What's it like? Uh, aside from the fennel, it seems all right, actually. It should be. Let him cook. Well, they did do. They did do, didn't they? I hate dried cinnamon. It puts uh, puts in lots of survive the live foods. Yes, couscous is lively with dried apricots. Uh, do you mean? Oh, is that lovely? Right, rehydrate them in hot water first. Lovely, not lively. Yes, well, that's what I. That's what I thought. When's the cookbook coming out? Oh gosh, I reckon I should, um, I should, I keep thinking I need to go back to one of my really, really earliest uh, cooking um, um, triumphs, my really earliest cooking triumph where I just tried something and it worked and uh, I kept on making it all the time when I was about 20 years old and I just, I was very, very low on ingredients and I didn't really know what would work. <clears throat> Blair. Mustard after four years, I will go to Britain. Will you still be there? I can't see I'll be anywhere else. Did you come up with a recipe or not? Asks Matt. But yeah, but it's just trial and error, really. That's all. I'm, I don't write recipes down. Perhaps I should do. Perhaps I should do. 
Have you ever invited Boaty to your meal to in, to your home to enjoy a meal? I haven't. No, no, he's not welcome here. Ah, Dino Dad, hello, hello, Captain. Hello, what's going on? What's going on? I presume that you'll have caught up with this by now anyway. Sausage on tonight's menu. Crisp. Does it clog the toilet? Well, it does. If you if you don't eat it first, then it'll clog the toilet. I mean, you could say, you know, if, you, if you're going to cook, you may as well leave out the eating part of it. If the cooking's the best bit, just cook it all and then bung it straight down the toilet. Then you can cook something else, can't you? Do you generally eat at home or do you go eat out on, on occasion? Um... Well, I do sometimes have an eat out somewhere, but I prefer, I prefer to cook myself because the old thing about you knowing what's gone into it is the main thing. There we go, potatoes. Hope you have a good time. This is a disaster. Well, not really a disaster, but I didn't actually buy some butter. So that's all that was left. And that's not really enough. Not really. What you really want is lots of proper butter. None of that um, none of that stuff that's pretending that it tastes like well. You don't pretend that it tastes like butter, it's trying to be butter without actually being butter. None of that. We don't want that. All right, there we go. Coarsely chopped up. And now the last thing that we want is... Uh, oh, hang on, what am I talking about? There is um, salt as well, don't we? Where's it gone? Where's, where's my... Ah, oh, there it is. There it is. Now, we shouldn't really need any salt in the onion gravy there because the sausages will have quite a bit. But this will definitely be improved by a, a nice, healthy ration of salt and then quite a lot of parsley. before going for the old mash-up. Where's it going? Ah, there it is. These are only just about mashable as well. No point overboiling things. There we go. <clears throat> Let that sit there just for a bit whilst I finish reading the comments and um, put a few bits of things away. Oh, actually, what I did there, didn't close the thing up properly. Come on. Oh, cinnamon's been losing flavour. That would be good, wouldn't it? Now then, um, in 15 minutes, Boaty's World is doing a live stream. And although I can't uh, recommend this to a great deal of people, because there aren't masses of people here today, um, come over and see him. Um, to serve, to, eh? Too severe and end, uh, too severe and to the point to do a live stream. Too severe and to the point to do a live stream, say Skick. Do you, are, you, are you saying that you are too severe yourself? Everyone likes a sausage, says Dino Dad. Everyone except for people who don't like sausages. Everyone who don't like sausages and are indeed uh, vegetarians, possibly. But everyone else, yes. Seems you never make food uh, for your wife. 
Do you have a separate shed? No, 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 I do. Sometimes I make something that's just for me because I'm quite happy to eat late on. But this, this is his, is her uh, request, in fact. Mm. Not mine. I'm just, I'm just following orders tonight. <clears throat> I just got bullied a little bit ago, says a Russian monk official. Can you try to cheer me up? Well, yes, I can. I can try to cheer you up. Uh, that there's um, there's no need for anybody to do any bullying anywhere. It's just um, as I've said before, it's it's a coward thing to do. It's what weak people do when they haven't got enough strength of personality of their own. They try and make themselves look better by making other people look worse. So just remember that if anybody bullies you, it's because you're better than what they are, and they know it. Senior Mustard. Oh, wow. Senior Mustard is here. A pan of slop. Interesting that you should remember that one. <laughs> Maybe she hates fennel. That wasn't me. That wasn't me, by the way. Ah, right, I see. Is that, um, is that Stacy or uh, Phil saying that? <laughs> Did you just fart? Sp spreads are made one molecule away from plastic, says Emma Lemon. And that's true. And that's why we shouldn't really eat them because it's, it's unnecessary. It's horrible. I mean, they are cheaper than proper butter. Probably about half the price now of proper butter, but it, it's, it's disgusting. It's horrible. Well, it's, not, it's not actually disgusting, but it kind of is. It's just it doesn't taste... Well, it does actually. It does taste a bit disgusting. Let's say, let's just agree that it's disgusting. And then everybody will be happy. Except for the people that make these spreads that have disgusting stuff in. How did that get there? There's a trail all the way to the sink. And I cannot get to the sweeping brush. I'll do it in a second. And the window needs to be open. Um... Where are the potatoes for the mash? That maybe you missed that bit. Can't beat a nice knob of salted butter. That, I hope that's pink pink Himalayan salt. It is pink Himalayan salt. Uh, Dwayne Wilson. Hey, what are you making? Asks Mustafa. Uh, sausage casserole. Clog. Ah, right. <laughs> Oh, that's Klug, not Clog. Sorry about that. But that's a rather strange uh, fantasy with your ginger cat with a bowler hat. That is um, rather exciting. 9797. Make me mods. Be finished in a minute, by the way. Okay. It is your request. I do hope you like it. Yes, good. Uh, oh, there they are. Yes. Doesn't eat that much, but there's a small kebab shop. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's not fennel gravy. No, 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 no. If it was fennel gravy, it would be way too much, wouldn't it? It's got fennel in it rather than fennel gravy. No, 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 no. Emma lemon, Emma lemon, Emma lemon. Emma lemon, Emma lemon, Emma lemon. No, in fact, the there are other things that, do you know, I haven't put in there. I can't believe this. I can't believe this. I'm a silly man indeed. I have actually forgotten the black pepper. How could I forget black pepper? What's wrong with me? Uh, it'd be disgusting without black pepper. Best is rectify that right now. There we go. There we go. <clears throat> if you say sausage backwards, it sounds like you're saying. Egasuas. Egasuas. <laughs> well, I'm about to finish this up, by the way, because it is time. Uh, I will shout out the last minute before Bozzy goes live. Well, this is this is ready, so I'm going to just finish it in just a couple of minutes. As soon as I, as soon as I catch up with these comments, then that's it. I am finished with for the evening. Um, is this a warm-up act before Bozzy starts? Yes, yes, it is exactly that. That's exactly what it is. To get you in the mood for somebody talking nonsense, 
Uh, I come along. He, he pays me handsomely, and you know we have a good time. Uh, Jimmy Quinn was here all this time. I reckon. Thank you very much. Uh, Kilmarnock FC boys, so true. Not sure what is, but um, uh, I'll, I'll agree with you. Uh, critical says it's me. Is that critical? Is that what you're supposed to say there? Uh, I was goofless. All right, I see. Do you whip those guys now? ST Bones, right? Yes, well done, ST Bones. Thank you for well trying to ruin Senior Mustard's reputation. Not that it would do. You must remember the old slop thing then. Oh, cool. I like that. Right. Scruffy Muppet. That is a cool name. I like that one. Scruffy Muppet. I'm going to give that one 8 out of 10. What are you cooking tomorrow? Asks Matt Finish Photography. I don't know. I don't know. But I will be doing. And it will be... There will be a longer live stream tomorrow as well because um, I, I like to finish before Boaty because nearly all of the people who are in here will be going over there. And I, unfortunately, will be doing a bit more video editing. I've got, I've got days and days worth of video editing to catch up with. Old wife, bring her in. Um, what's her name, Mustard? She's, she's, she's called Mrs. Mustard. That's her name. Matron Mustard is her name. That's what, that's what most people know her as. Booty Juice. Booty Juice is the name tipped up. <laughs> also known as Skid Stains. Uh, good evening, says uh, Zana Murray. Uh, have you been have you been feeling lately? I've been right. Uh, oh, what did Jolly Nick bring, bring you for Christmas? He, uh, he brought me a sense of occasion and uh, the need to carry on making videos. Does this guy read out chat or just yap? I have indeed read out your message, Scruffy Muppet, and even given you a lovely, handsome score for your name. Ah, right. Uh, do, you, do you have a guy at? Don't think men have them at all, to be honest. Smashing Pistons, hello and goodbye. Hope you had a good live, and I hope you did as well, Simon. Thank you. Um, something else, I'm something else. Say, hey, Simon, a night, the young man in the night saying, does Susan exist? Uh, probably somewhere. Uh, nearly being loved by Cassie. That's quite a cool name, I like that one. Phil this time. <laughs> Rate my name, 8 out of 10, exactly Scruffy Muppet. Now go and subscribe to this channel and like this live stream and come back tomorrow for more. Yeah? It is pretty good. Ooh, Matron had to be said. I say it all the time. I, 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 I say it all the time. Doxing. Mustard is like Slade concert. We get drunk after deep like... Oh. Are you actually a scruffy muppet? Well, right, okay, there we go. I have actually caught up with all of these comments, which is fantastic, and I'm, I feel quite joyous and uh, triumphant about that. So I'm going to end. So I want to say a super duper big thank you to the Greenwood for all the moderating work this evening, and thank you to everybody who has indeed joined in with this live stream tonight, even if you haven't said anything. And and I mean everyone, and but a special thank you to the people who have joined in. So um, thank you very much. I'll do another one tomorrow at 8.40 in the evening. British time, that is. Bye-bye.